Uh, hello, I'm Dr. Alexandre Amato, vascular surgeon at the Amato Institute, and today I'll talk about the trigger of lipedema. Lipedema is a topic I discuss a lot here on the channel. I enjoy studying it, I enjoy teaching it. Uh, before continuing, click that little red button below, subscribe to our channel, also click the bell to receive notifications, and let's then hear about the concept of the trigger of lipedema. Lipedema is a disease of low-grade inflammation of fat and the lymphatic system of the lower limbs, but it can also affect the upper limbs. So there ends up being a slow and progressive fat deposition throughout life. Mainly during inflammatory crises, there's a greater deposition of fat. But then comes the question, what triggers these inflammatory crises because there are women who carry the gene for lipedema but end up not showing the disease, meaning they didn't have an inflammatory trigger, nothing that started this process. So this inflammatory trigger can be anything. It can be from the use of some medication, for example, a corticosteroid for a long period or hormonal use, more or less. It can be from contraceptives or from a hormone replacement later on. However, diet can also be a contributing factor. Frequently, the trigger for inflammation in lipedema may stem from your dietary choices, leading to an intolerance, initiating a mild ongoing inflammatory response. This perpetuates the inflammation and can sometimes escalate into an inflammatory crisis with excessive eating uh, without restraint. Therefore, pinpointing this dietary element often helps in reducing these inflammatory episodes and curbing fat accumulation. Other factors can also incite inflammation, for instance, undergoing surgery. I have patients who had varicose vein surgery, didn't know they had lipedema, and then the procedure, which ends up poking, the subcutaneous tissue triggers an inflammatory process and results in a much more difficult post-operative period with pain, with swelling, than uh, the expected post-operative period of a normal varicose vein surgery. So going back, looking at all these triggers, we can see that diet is the common factor among and on all of them everyone eats there's no way to avoid it there are some ways to identify the main inflammatory factor in the diet so one of them is following an anti-inflammatory diet a list of foods that you can and cannot eat so this is shared the nutritionist provides it it's on the internet people try various lists the thing is that no one is the same as another person so there's no way to be sure that a list that worked for one person will work for another. We can talk about probabilities. Some foods have a higher probability of causing inflammation than other foods, for example, wheat, dairy, gluten. But in, it doesn't mean that it will cause anything for you. It might cause for other people. So these lists, they serve as a starting point, but often they are not definitive. You will need to have greater self-awareness to identify the main foods in your case. Another way right, is to do a food intolerance test. This food intolerance test will identify which foods are yeah, it's generating IgG in your case and can guide you to which ones might be causing the inflammatory symptoms and there is the uh, strategic anti-inflammatory diet. You can look it up, isn't that? It's on Google, where you go. Adding and removing foods from your diet and keeping a symptom diary, you can track what is triggering it. So, since a food can trigger all this up to 72 hours after being ingested, we always have to look back 72 hours from the days with the worst symptoms, and we can track these foods so by doing this, you can identify the trigger of an inflammatory crisis of lipedema. And these inflammatory crises can happen to anyone, even those who don't have lipedema. 
the symptoms vary from gastrointestinal symptoms, respiratory symptoms, dermatological symptoms. There are many. But the point is that uh, lipedema, for those who have lipedema, the weak organ, um, which is another interesting concept, which is the organ that will show symptoms first is the subcutaneous fatty tissue. When an inflammatory process starts in the body, the first symptom will appear in the lower limbs, in that fat deposit that shouldn't be there. Uh, so this is the concept of inflammation trigger for lipedema. Did you like our video? Subscribe to our channel, share it with your friends, click the bell below to get notifications for the next ones. And see you next time.